Yes, sir. Your boy printing out the certifications. Yo, yeah, move that, move that snush, bro. Get the fuck back, bro. Get back. But my shit printing out now, though. Let's see what it look like. <laughs> bro, this shit looks sexy, bro. Come on. It's nice quality, too, bro. Look how this shit look. It's where fucking hard work gets you. What's going on, y'all boys? I'm back at it again another video, man. If y'all boys don't know, I'm Security Plus certified and I'm Network Plus certified, man. So I got both of those certifications, and it's still kind of crazy to think about it that I got both of those, but I got my Network Plus on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Instead of worrying about a shawty, I was worried about <laughs> these certifications, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got a girl and you trying to get these, you got to, I don't know what you got a girl for, but you got to focus, you got to lock in, bro. Like, hey. Hey, cybersecurity is my shawty, bro. Like, that's that's why I took out the Valentine's Day cybersecurity, but that's why I got the certification on Valentine's Day. But I felt my Network Plus the first time in January. I retook it on Valentine's Day. I caught that up. And then I got my Security Plus literally two weeks later on February 28th. And in my opinion, the Security Plus is easier than the Network Plus, but that's just my opinion. I know some people disagree, some people agree, but the Security Plus is really mainly scenario-based. And the Network Plus is like remembering ports, subnetting shit like that it's a bunch of numbers you it's like math you know what i'm saying and i don't have a problem with that you know i know my ports and shit now but back then studying for that i feel like it was harder than security plus and that's why i feel like security plus is easier um and to be honest better you know what i'm saying you know your boy also got p set certified python programmer but let me go ahead and get back to it though but look, the angle, I'm making a video about what the things I did and how I was able to accomplish getting my Network Plus and Security Plus within around a month. It took me about, i say, 40 days to get both of them combined, give or take, you know, so about a month. Um, if I'm being real, everybody says read a book, read a book, go study for hours on end. Like, that shit, I feel like we in the 21st century. We is in 2025. If your number one way of studying is reading a book, I, I just found that old school. Like, that's crazy. Like, you know, like, I'm 21, and I just find that old school. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I feel like the best way to study for things like this is go on Udemy, right? Get some practice exams like Jason Dion, or I got Jason Dion's in total seminar. I did one practice exam. I got about between a 60 and a 70 percent. I would study all the answers that I got wrong. It took me about an hour. I would copy and paste the answer, send it to ChatGPT, and then have him explain it to you. And then don't move on until you understand it. Once you understand it, go on to the next question, so forth and so forth. Go, go over the questions you got right, too, because you want to know why you got them right. You don't want to go back to that same question and go like, uh, so I'm guessing it was this answer. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you know what you're doing. And then once you retake that same practice exam about an hour later after all your studying and reviewing, you should get about at least between the 85 and 100 percent, in my opinion. Just rinse and repeat that same strategy over and over again. You're going to get about six practice tests from Jason Dion. Um, total seminar gave me about three so in total you'll have nine practice exams and if you keep doing those and if you're cons if you're scoring consistently better on each and every one i promise you you'll get right with the um the real exam yeah, so y'all probably already doing this but i also watch professor messer on network plus and security plus and i'll watch those while i'm at work it was really like background noise to me for i didn't even finish the security plus video but i will watch those and i went on youtube one day and i was like and it popped up in my recommendations like what's the fastest way to learn something new and it was something called active memory recall so instead of just studying for hours on end like i'm talking about let's say you study for eight hours straight you're just reading shit and you're not even testing yourself the knowledge you're not gonna really learn shit for you're just gonna put it in your brain and you're gonna instantly forget it because you can only learn so many things at once it's like going to the gym bro. like you go to the gym you come back take a break and then you know what i'm saying the next day you go back but you can't just keep putting all that shit in your brain and not actually you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not finna learn shit from doing that. So then that's when I figured out that the best way to learn, especially for the, these Comp T exams, because they're question-based, is that you gotta question yourself, bro. Like, think about it like this. Read, like, five pages of your book, right? And then close the book and test yourself on what you just read. If you can't, if you can't think about what you just read, you didn't learn nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you doing that, you're forcing your brain to recall that same memory of what you just read. And that helps you learn 10 times faster. That's what I heard online. And I'm not going to lie, it did work. Um, it's actually pretty useful. I'm not going to lie. So those are the things that I recommend to do. Um, that's what I would do. And that's what I did do. I got my Security Plus, my Network Plus, and my Piece Up. I plan on taking my Scissor Plus this week or 
in two weeks this month. So I'm gonna have that. Now I'm probably gonna go for my pen test plus and my EJPT. Um, and I'm gonna do the same method I did for those two. And I posted my um I, when I got my security plus and network plus within a month, I posted that on Reddit and LinkedIn, and those posts went crazy, bro. I had like 60k views on my Reddit post and like 2,000 upvotes. It was crazy, like three in the comments. But yeah, that's what I would do if I was y'all boys, though, man. So basically, active memory recall. If y'all know what it is, bro, please search it up. Bro, it's gonna get y'all right. Active memory recall and watching videos about it on while you're at work or some shit like that, and do that for at least two to three hours every day. Do, take a practice exam that you never took before. Learn the questions you got wrong. Review them. Have ChatGPT explain them to you. Anything you don't know, have ChatGPT explain it, bro. Like, we in the 21st, it's, it's we in 2025, bro. We have AI to help us out, man. Yeah, if y'all don't use that, y'all tripping. Use ChatGPT. Watch videos about it. Professor Messer, whatever. Practice exams. Retake them practice exams and make sure you're scoring above an 85%. So make sure you're scoring above an 85% on your second try and about around the 70 on your first. And after you take those practice exams, do a new one you never did before. So if you score like a 60, Two practice exams later, you should be scoring like at least a 65 to 70. When I took my exam, um, my comp tier security plus and security and network plus, I had about between I had like a 71 percent, and I knew I was ready. Well, I felt like I was ready. I had confidence in myself, but that's what I'll do if I was you guys, though. So another thing I did that not a lot of people in cybersecurity know how to actually do or like to do is that I know how to program in Python like I have a whole discord server where we all know how to program hey run a bit down below if y'all thinking about it though but basically we all know how to program in the discord server right so our program and my tools will revolve around cybersecurity like I'll make a tool that knows how to I'll make a DOS tool I'll make IPS a vulnerability scanner things of those natures you know what i'm saying so when i'm making those i'm working with networking and security so it's like i'm learning while programming which is literally hands on so that's another thing that helped me you know what i'm saying that's something that helped me to learn and prepare myself for the network and security plus because i program at least 15 to 20 hours a week so if y'all know how to program make some tools around cyber security man because it's going to help reinforce that knowledge you know what i'm saying last but not least y'all boys gotta get a whiteboard man write up all y'all goals on this bit and then just look back on it like every day every time you wake up from your bed you're gonna wake up and see this before you even leave your room you know what i'm saying so my first attempt 70 percent second attempt 94 on um, my second practice exam 61 97 well i took this one first then I did this, then I did this, you know what I'm saying? So I got better each time. This one, you know what I'm saying? Kind of a, but you know, for the most part, you're getting better each time. And I did about, I did about five, six, seven practice exams. Don't be like me, do all of them. I didn't do all just cause I'm, I, I scheduled my exams so close to when I was practicing that I didn't have enough time. But those are the things that I would do. Right here, I wrote the formulas for annual loss expectancy and single loss expectancy and annual rate of occurrence, things of that nature. Stuff like that helps out. And then you got over here. You know what I'm saying? I got all my certs, and I got the Security Plus, and I got Network Plus. Got my piece up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, oh, man. And when y'all when y'all come back, y'all finna see that Scissor Plus right there. You know, you finna see that EJPT. You finna see the Pen Test Plus. You finna see the PCAP. And y'all finna see, I, I, got, I got something right here that um isn't there yet. But y'all finna see next time, though. Y'all boys stick around, though. Hey, man, I hope everything I said in this video helped y'all boys out, though, man. Um, Boys and girls, guys and gals, whatever. You feel me? I hope y'all do good on y'all exam. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. If y'all got any questions, man, join the Discord. I'm going to put a link down below in the description and put it in the comment section, too. So feel free to join that, man. I'm literally always in there. But um, until next time, I'm going to see y'all boys later, though. I'm holding myself to get in the Scissor Plus within at least the next month. I'm going to try to get it this month, but, hey, we finna see. So I'm going to see y'all boys later, though. Peace.